hello there. Now, before we begin, if you've not seen the last episode, pause this video, go and watch the last episode. Right, we continue. Uh, so we won, well we didn't win, we didn't win the league, we came second in League One, uh, but promotion was sealed as you found out last episode. Hopefully you didn't spoil it for yourself and you watched the last episode. Uh, some big names in there. Now, as I mentioned, this episode is going to be a transfer special, so every transfer dealing I deal with you will see. So it's going to be a highlight video uh, of all the little deals I get and don't get. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to last, but it's going to take us to September the 1st, my birthday. Get it in your calendars already. You've got a new one for Christmas or, or New Year. So, you know, get get it in there. 1st of September, Dr. Benji. Lovely. Right. Uh, so in terms of money and whatnot, we, we've not got a King's Ransom to spend, but 2.6 million going up to the championship ain't too bad at all. Uh, the wage budget is a bit of an issue, and obviously the big deals on our minds. Craig Tanner will be back, Jack Stevens, uh, amongst others. Will they return to the Swindon lot? We'll have to find out. So uh, I'll join you whenever something develops. So the first major incident isn't even the fact that we're trying to sign someone. It's trying to keep uh, Wesley Fotheringham, a very, very experienced goalkeeper. Well, not experienced, but a very good goalkeeper at this level. And I have foolishly failed to offer him a new deal. And now I've got all my budgets locked in, and I can't offer him a new deal. And he's not going to accept this, and I don't know what to do, and I'm panicking, and oh no... Um, I'm trying everything I can to keep him. He's a major player. Right, well, just... That's... Like, we've got issues. Something you may well be interested in. Uh, Craig Tanner got Player of the Year. Not really a surprise. Uh, Gordon Boot went to Will Grigg of MK Dons. Got of the season. Neil Kilkenny. Uh, Paul Dickoff got Manager of the Year. With Donny. Oh, I must have been in the running. Uh, and Tanner and Stevens are the only two uh, players to get in the League One Team of the Year. So we had a few notable mentions in there, I guess. I'll do. Anyway, uh, Fotheringham's contract will not be renewed, and I'm wetting myself. <sighs> and while we're on the goalkeeper theme, Chris Kirkland wants £10,000 a week. You're Chris Kirkland. Right then. So this is where things get that bit more interesting. The transfer window is now officially open. Uh, I can now offer higher wages. So what I obviously should have done is not tried to offer him a wage when we were still considered a lowly League One club, but waited and said it just all updated because he's easily the best keeper we'll ever be able to get. I mean, looking at other goalkeepers, uh, players like Mark Bunn. Mark Bunn is probably one of the better keepers uh, available to us, but he'd want £7,500 a week at 30, which is uh, a bit too much for me. Uh, Constantopoulos, yep, I've gone for it. Um, another one might be quite good for me. These players are all having their contracts expire, so obviously they will be free soon. So what I'll probably do is just wait for a few of them to expire and then go in for one or two if Fotheringham doesn't want to talk to me again. Please. <laughs> Please. Okay, that moment has arrived. Uh, Craig Tanner. We're going back in for him. I don't know what they want from me, um, but I would love him again for a year. They want me to pay all his wages and I'd get him for another year. Uh, maybe we can we put in a future fee? Hmm. I don't know what they'd want in terms of a future fee, but we'll we'll perhaps negotiate a future fee. Maybe seven hundred thousand, three million. That seems ambitious. Um, oh, one point five million, and then we've got ourselves a th three, three million. We won't we won't do a future fee. <laughs> right there we are. Hopefully we get him back. Somewhat fittingly, after the exploits of last season, our first signing of this season is a, uh, a renewed loan deal for Craig Tanner. Yes! Apparently, he said that he's got a long-held passion for the club. What a guy. So, the second signing we've made uh, is already in the van. He's on £3,500 a week, which is quite a lot for our club. Um, but he's a very solid centre-back. He's got really, really good centre-back stats, actually. Determination's very good. Heading, marking, tackling, not so bad. Passing, surprisingly good. Uh, and physically, bit of a beast. Like, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Andre Baiki Amorugu, I'm guessing is how you say his name. Good bravery, good aggression. Concentration lacking a little bit as his decisions. Um, but I'm not too worried about that because I want a bit of a rock in there. We haven't got enough rocks in our team. We've got a bit of a bit of fairy defending at the back. And I don't think this guy is going to be that kind of player. So, uh, yeah, another signing in the van. Uh, well, I say in the van. He's in the lot. Uh, £176,000. Deal. Another signing, uh, Jack Stevens. We raved about him last season, and he's very, very good. We're actually signing him 
Uh, he's, he's got a lot of good potential stats in here. He's got really good mentals for his age, decent physicals, uh, some of his, ta uh, his tackling attributes as well as his heading, marking, defensive attributes is what I meant to say. Very, very good. Can play in a few positions as well, maybe not naturally, but uh, can fill in if needed. Really pleased with this signing. Really, really pleased. Uh, 7.08 average rating. One of our key performers last year, and it's great to have him back. Just to uh, bring you back in a minute, I'm going to go with avoid relegation. They actually said attempt to avoid relegation. But I'm hoping the signs we make, uh, I think this season's going to be very difficult. I don't think we should expect back to back promotions, that's for sure. Uh, but avoid relegation, I think that's what we'll go with. 1.8 million and 70,000 in wage budget. As you can see, we're quite on the edge of it right now. Uh, but players will be leaving at the end of the year. We've got some big earners. They've got a 36 year old on like 3K. Um, so he'll be leaving. So we'll have a few. A few areas to manoeuvre, um, so I'm not too worried about it. Mid-table finish seems a little bit optimistic. Avoid relegation, though. That's what we're going to go with. Ah, now, interesting. We have an affiliate with Tottenham Hotspur. So, there's quite a few players in their ranks that we could potentially try and get in. Jordan Archer may be the main one. Obviously, we've got the Fodderingham issue right now. Jordan Archer would fill that void excellently uh kenneth mcavoy the guy who looks a little bit like gareth bale we might also bring in there's a few guys here that have definitely got potential uh, alex pritchard another one. Oh, he's very good i tell you what we may have to try and bring a couple of these guys in because from what i can see they're very very good another one here hmm. they're all right so just there i mentioned alex pritchard and lo and behold he's coming in on loan uh, i'm really pleased with that actually i think he could be really good we don't play a wide formation but it's something i'm definitely considering we could play uh, tanner as a shadow striker in behind obika because we've not really got that many good striking options um so i'm debating how to play this but so far so good uh, i've had a horrible moment you know when you feel like you've you've tricked everyone and Fodderingham was on his way out and I was like, oh, that's right, we'll, uh, we'll sneakily get Jordan Archer and then I'll reveal him as the grand surprise. Well, yeah, as you can see, he's going to Crystal Palace for like st like no money at all. £87,000, that is painful. That is very painful. We'll keep trying with Fodderingham uh, until he just leaves on a free, but oh, heartbreaking. It's happening. He wants to talk about a contract. Yes! Uh, he wants too much money though, so we'll bring that down a bit. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm playing with fire here. 4000 a week. I think that's fine. There's, there's no issues there, surely. Five thousand. He's, he's digging his heels in. Okay, four and a half, and you've got yourself a deal. That's that's double your weight. There we go. Panic over. Everyone go back to their jobs. Jesus, that has been an ordeal over the summer. We're signing Gareth Bale, by which I mean, with Kenneth McAvoy doesn't sound anywhere near as good as Gareth, but Kenneth. Well, that says it is Gareth. Gareth and Kenneth. Uh, anyway, <laughs> left winger. Good dribbling, decent finishing, good crossing, uh, really good physicals. Mentals lack something, but as we learned from Tanner last year, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so yeah, we're getting him in. We've got two wide options now, something we did not have last year. I'd be interested to see if we can adopt that style in the championship. I said it was over. It's now officially over. Wesley Fodderingham uh, is back. He was never gone, but in my mind, I was panicking. He's really, really good. 15 handling, uh, 14 kicking, one-on-one's very good, reflex is very good. How are we going to let this guy go? How stupid was I on a scale of 1 to 10? 10, Ben. You were a 10. Ben, 10. Oh, for goodness sake. I, I was just casually flicking through some of these options. Uh, flicked onto the squad. Thin. Very thin. We have a starting 11 and 5 substitutes, but it's very thin. I never thought... I never thought I'd be in a comparison between Paul Koncheski and anybody, frankly. Uh, Joe Matic is the man in question. I need a left back. Uh, Brad Smith wants five and a half grand. He was released on a free, but he wants way too much money for how good he is at right now. Um, so the decision is Matuk or Koncheski. Obviously, Koncheski is 34, and he's Paul Koncheski. Uh, Joe Matuk, slightly younger, 25 years old. Could be with us a lot longer. I've offered them both contracts. We'll see if either accepts. Um, I don't really want Paul Koncheski, but I have offered him a contract. Oh. Yeah, Paul Koncheski has accepted the contract. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Paul Koncheski, he's not that good, is he? He's really not that good. He's, you're Paul Koncheski. Cancel that. Okay, then, Joe Matic, he's the man. Uh, we've looked for a left-back for a little while. £3,000 a week, uh, not a bad deal. He's had, you know, he's had a... <laughs> A sort of split career. He's been alright at Sheffield Wednesday, not had a first team club for a while where he can really excel. I actually think his stats are very solid. Good tackling, good marking, good heading, uh, decent physicals. Mentals can be desired, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, and good going forward as well. Obviously, we use our wing backs quite a lot, so he, that is a really important aspect for me. Uh, so yeah, he's in. Joe Matuk, and my voice is disappearing. 
Now, here's an interesting one. Uh, Craig Davis, you'll have heard the name on Sky Sports occasionally, I'm sure. Uh, not going to cost me a lot of money on a free transfer, obviously. I'm looking at a lot of frees, you might have noticed. Uh, actually, got really like well-rounded, solid stats. Target man, completely different to Obika. Uh, so if Obika doesn't work out, I think he might be someone that comes in, does a job for us. I actually, you know what, I'm quite excited by it. I've had him on saves in the past, and he's not performed, but... You can see last year for Bolton, 4-26, and 26, not ideal. Maybe they'll work as a strike partnership. Maybe we'll change things around and get the best out of both of them. Side note, I uh, went after Darren Bent. Went to Barnsley. He's not that good, so I'm not that bothered. Now then, now then, uh, we've obviously put a lot of sort of love and trust in Craig Tanner, but if it doesn't work, we need a second option. Uh, Paul Gallagher will be that second option. We, we need someone to play in that role uh, based on his stats. Didn't even bother to scout him. Saw his men's uh, technical, sorry, and was like, yep, you, you'll do. Uh, and not on a massive wage either, only on uh, £2,500 a week. I've put quite a few clauses in his contract, but I actually think he'll be good. So Paul Gallagher uh, is part of the Swindon lot. Here we go. Uh, got uh, Ray Wilkins coming in as a coach. I think you'll find the so Ray Wilkins is coming in as a coach. I think you'll find this is what I call the uh, dream team. I'm just bringing in some more defensive cover. Uh, Scott Scott Cuthbert. I'm bringing in two defenders actually. Scott Cuthbert is the first, 28 years old, not particularly outlandish or standout-ish, but uh, a good backup for the squad. Uh, the other one I might bring in is Alex Bruce. I'll let you know if it happens. Okay, so something something weird might be about to happen and I don't know what to say and I don't know what to do but I might be about to sign Lucho Gonzalez or I might try and sign Lucho Gonzalez which would be a coup I think do I go for this he wants a massive amount of money but he's Lucho Gonzalez he's an F in my mind anyway he's an FM monster he was so good he had years around like the Marseille Porto era of like the first one was at Porto where if you signed him you were set for life and now, the Swindon lot, I've got a chance to sign him on a massive deal. Like, two big... I've got him on trial right now, just to try and talk to him. It's a huge deal. Do we do it for a year? It could It could change our season. He's so good. I don't, I'm toying with my own emotions here, folks. I don't know what to do. He's like 10,000 or nothing. 9,000. I've already matched highest earner. There's no one ever going to come in. He's only here for a year. Um... If we, if they, I don't know what I'm doing. This is like buying three players at once. That's how good he is. We'll see what happens. Oh, the excitement in my voice. Ah, oh, it was it was like seconds ago. This is when it happened, right? And then I talked to you about how excited I am, and then I thought him in the arrow, just like yeah, we'll take him. Oh, I really wanted it. I bet. Oh, well, that's embarrassing. Something. Something unexpected has just happened. Uh, Obika is, is perhaps wanting to move to Swansea. Jonathan, what a, what a turn up full of books. Um, I, I don't want him to go. I think he's important for next year. Um, I'm just going to tell him that. Tough. Okay. Uh, t t yeah, you're not, you're not moving. I don't know what to do about this. He's, he's furious with me. I'm just going to tell him I'm not going to back down. Well, if Swansea come in, it'll depend on the fee. If they want like if they want it for like two, three million, then it'll be hard to turn down. But that's that's ridiculous. When I, you know, I was talking about an offer coming in, not six hundred and thirty thousand Swansea. Most of it, not even straight away. Idiots. So as the season draws closer and closer, uh, Fraser Ayad, I'm not sure how to say his name, if any of the Rangers fans know, um, do let me know. Just put him in, I've actually paid a transfer fee for him. Um, I thought he'd just be good cover for the positions that we need. Uh, 300k will be deducted from my transfer budget. He's not on a massive wage, so I'm not too worried about it. But obviously it's a second choice, we've got a few guys on loan. Um, uh, Alex Pritchard plays out there, he's currently injured, so I needed someone to come and play in that position. We're going to try the wide formation to start off with uh, and see how it goes. If it goes well, then great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, we are bringing one more name in. I'm just going to... Oh, it's saving. Fine, whatever. Uh, I'm not going to bring you a live come today. I am going to wait uh, until we're a few games into the season. We'll see how I've progressed at the start of the year. Uh, but that almost brings us to the end. I think we'll have one more bit of business, so I'll see you in a moment. This isn't transfer-related, but I thought it was 
well, I thought I might as well let you know. Basically, uh, we've just beaten Sheffield Wednesday. So our first game in the championship, we've won it 1-0. Uh, a 2-1 win. Gallagher and uh, Lugano. I don't think he got... I'm not quite sure how to say his name. I don't think he's, he's got one goal last season. I was, I was thinking, I can't remember him scoring too many last year. Um, so not a bad start to the season at all. We go again. Uh, I'll bring you one bit... Of, I think I've got one more bit of transfer. I think I mentioned it already. I've got more bit of transfer information. So I'll bring you that. And then we'll end the video. And here it is. And wasn't it worth waiting for? Uh... Chihi, I assume it's Chihi. Uh, if someone knows better than me, do tell me. From Morocco, uh, another left winger, Pacey, very good at dribbling. Uh, obviously, we just need a bit more cover in that area, so I thought I'd bring another one in, and that pretty much rounds up uh, how we go. He's played for Fulham and in the Bundesliga. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that pretty much rounds up the transfer window for us. Uh, let's see how it went down. So. We brought in a number of players, 11 in total, I think, as well as getting players like Tanner uh, back in on loan, and we obviously brought Jack Stevens. Players that were with us last year that we've brought back. Uh, quite a few free transfers. You can see a few that I didn't mention. Uh, Alex Bruce is now in. Uh, Alan Sheehan, I'm not sure if you saw him, but left back cover can also play at centre back. Looks very well rounded. Uh, if you if I paid a fee for a man, it was obviously worth it. And as you see on the outs, plenty of guys left the club. Um, but overall, I think we're better off. If you take a look at the squad now, we do need. Off, I've just totally bypassed it we need a backup goalkeeper so that's something i'll do uh off video and we'll try and get someone maybe an experienced head in that's what i'd quite like to bring in i think uh so that brings us to the end i hope you enjoyed something different obviously seeing how i go through my transfer sort of how i go about things who we bring in how we try to improve the squad and now obviously you've got a relationship with those players i've got a relationship with those players and uh we will hopefully have a very good championship campaign i think the next time you'll see me uh, obviously i didn't bring you the first games or whatnot so let's look who can we bring you bristol city uh i think that's a bit of a derby so we'll do the bristol city game uh, it's televised so it's obviously a big one and then we'll see where we go from there so from me dr benji thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed a bit of a transfer special um uh, not something that i do very often but when i do do it everyone has a great time so from me dr benji thank you very much for watching if you've not already subscribed to the channel for more football manager content do so right now before it's too late uh, and i'll see you next time and i've said this about four different times but from me dr benji thank you very much for watching goodbye